Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Orange Cactus Productions. We've got a scenario here with the K4. We're going to be running from Altoona to Johnstown. I think I've already done a K4 video, but I haven't been in the mood to run a K4, so... We'll go ahead and see... See if we can actually see the locomotive here. Yeah, okay, here we go. We'll get our headlight on. It's been a long time since I've run this locomotive. Alright. So we're going to turn on our sanders. If I can find them. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. I've been playing way too much trains and not enough actual dovetail train simulator. Gosh, look how pretty that K4 is. Oh my gosh. Just get a screenshot here. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright. Enough fooling around. We've got a schedule to keep. So we're going to make our way to the station. We're going to release the brakes. And we'll get going here. But we'll try to get going. Come on, baby. There we go. We're rolling. I've been on a huge steam kick lately. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm <laughs> sorry for that uh, long and awkward pause. I've been on a huge steam kick lately, and I've been playing mostly through trains, but my computer doesn't like to record trains, as I've mentioned several times before. Hey, what's up? So, I thought, hey, why not take the K4 for a spin? It's been a long time since I've operated this in dovetail trains. is one of my favorite locomotives. Quickly becoming one of my favorite locomotives, I should say. At first I was kind of like, eh, K4, it's kind of bland, kind of typical, but the more I've been watching footage of it and listening to old recordings of its sounds, and oh man, this was such a gorgeous locomotive. Especially for a Pacific. That square bell pair firebox. We got a diesel. Some GP nines with the coal. Helper, that's unusual. There's some F units. Get back on the right side here. Leave the fireman alone. But yeah, I've been on a huge Steam kick lately, and posting a lot of Steam-related content on Instagram, as I'm sure some of you have seen. Mostly from trains, but... This is a better simulator to record, and I wanted to record something with Steam, so I figured, let's do a quick K4 run and see how it turns out. 
Alright, so we're gonna come up to a grade here, so we'll have to see what happens. Because... These locomotives slip on grades pretty easily. But I hope everybody's had a good Thanksgiving. This is being recorded at least two days after Thanksgiving, 2021. I had a pretty good Thanksgiving overall, all things considered. And is that a whistle mark or a... That's uh, mile post. Because there is a crossing coming up here. Yeah, I had a pretty good Thanksgiving. My subscription to Trains Unlimited right now. throttle here because this hill is not going to be kind to us. It's actually going pretty good. Let's see if we can get some other shots. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, you see the glow from the firebox. That's cool. You can barely see the rods moving. Oh, yeah, we're still losing some speed, but. I think I'm happy with our overall progress. And my one complaint about Dovetail Train Simulator, if anybody from Dovetail Games is watching, or High Iron, or any of the companies that make stuff, we need more American steam. Besides just, you know, Union Pacific and Pennsylvania. And even with Horseshoe Curve, I mean, we're missing I-1s and J-1s and L-1s. There's all sorts of classes of Pennsylvania Railroad steam that are just completely missing from this route that would have been active around this time. Here comes some E units with another, looks to be another coal train. Uh, yeah, partial coal train. It's mostly a manifest. Steam here.
Come on, baby. I know it's a steep hill. There we go, we're getting some speed now. She's found her traction. That's why I like to see, but I'm going up, not down. Gosh, listen to that stack. Is there a more beautiful sound? So I can't think of one off the top of my head. There we go, baby. I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I was getting really worried there because I thought we were going to stall out on the hill. It drops below 10 miles an hour, usually that's what happens, but... That 44,000 plus pounds of tractive effort finally kicked in. And I thought about turning the sander off. I'm just going to leave it on as long as I need to. Love those old Pennsylvania Railroad style signals. Those are long gone. Norfolk Southern finally took them off the route a couple of years ago. Even though crews liked them. Okay, so this 30 mile an hour mark means we're probably getting close to the curve. Let me just go ahead and check the map here. Yeah, we're real close. But here's the curve right here. Let go of the throttle just a little bit, just so you slow her down. I even bothered with brakes, she's gonna let gravity slow me down. And yeah, here we are, right at the curve. I'll try to get a free camera. This is cool, kind of like a drone following the train. So you can see Horseshoe Curve, the park looks a lot different than today. Except that Watchman Shanty is still there.
back off the throttle a little bit again. Gosh, to be alive when this was a common sight would have just been a dream come true for me. steam again because there's another big grade coming up. But yeah, I would have loved to have been alive during this time because it was such a such a sight. Just regular steam. There were still four tracks on the line. Now there's only three. Uh, I envy the men who are still alive and live to see it. Passing MG Tower soon. That was demolished recently. As I take a drink of some of my soja. I'm gonna go after it on the throttle a little bit more. We're doing okay. The water's still good. I've actually, the first time I ran, I ran out of water on the first grade. So I don't, I don't want to make that mistake again. But I think I was doing manual firemen. But this is when the you, you're seeing the water go down because it's really really trying to build up steam. Alright, MG Tower should be coming right up here. There she is. Another passenger train, diesel powered, sign of the times. That's another thing, is seeing diesel alongside steam would have just been just so awesome. Dang it, I was born in the wrong era. But no sense in crying about that now. I mean, there's still steam to be seen in the 21st century. No shortage of it, in fact. MG Tower. Rest in peace. That tower stood for... Gosh, I don't even know how many years. It stood through all four railroads. Pennsylvania Railroad, Penn Central, Conrail, and now Norfolk Southern. I guess there were some attempts to save the tower, but... Really, what were they going to do? It was already deteriorating. And it wasn't in a really accessible place for the public to use. And the cost of moving it would have been just absurd. So, there was no option. I hate to see railroad artifacts go. I really do. I would have liked to have seen it up in, uh, up past Altoona. But, what are you going to do? You can't do it all. You can't see it all. Mohawk Designs actually has a tribute shirt to it. I wonder if those milestone markers were actually that reflective back in the day, or if that's just an effect of the game. Alright, 
our next major landmark here that we should be coming up on is the uh, Galitzin Tunnels. Which Norfolk Southern, they all consolidated it into one tunnel and then they closed the other side. Which I didn't know for the longest time, but I've never actually been up here. I've only ever watched people rail fan videos throughout the years. Even though I live in PA, I still haven't been to Altoona, at least as of this video. That may change in the future. I've been trying to go up there for a long time, but just gave me time to go because it's, it's about two and a half hours away, maybe, maybe three, but there's a lot of history up here that I really want to document for myself, what's left of it anyway, what Norfolk Southern hasn't thrown in the trash bin, so to speak. Yeah, I guess uh, the Surface Transportation Board is coming down hard on old NS because they haven't been performing well and they've been getting a lot of complaints. So the, uh, the government's going to Norfolk Southern and going, what are you doing? Now, I'm not a big fan of government intervention, but if you're doing so poorly that the government organization involved with regulating you has to come in and say, what, what is the problem? You know you've got a problem. And their problem is they don't treat their employees well. From multiple sources, I've heard this. Engineers are quitting left and right. They're overregulated. You're just as likely to get fired on your first day as you are to be hired. Or rather, you're just as likely to be, likely to be fired as quickly as you're hired. This is a bad environment because I thought for several years I wanted to work for Norfolk Southern in capacity, but nothing makes me want to work for them. If anybody in any top positions from NS happens to be watching, or people who work for NS who know somebody who's higher up, tell them this. There are people interested in working for you, rail fans and so on and so forth, who want to learn some of the jobs, but Everything we're hearing right now is making us not want to join up. So you might want to address a lot of those complaints you're getting. Boy, there's a lot of traffic tonight. Or is this in the morning? Yeah, I think this is in the morning. But yeah, I would have loved to have worked for Norfolk Southern, but... Things are pretty bad over there, and they've been bad for a while, from what I understand. Still a fun railroad to rail fan, and always want to... Oh wow, I'm just now noticing these signal lights. Huh. That's cool. I never noticed that before. I know diesels had them, but I didn't realize they had them in steam. That's... I like that. I, I really, I want to make sure that the railroad employees know that I do appreciate their work, so do many rail fans, and just the grateful people because they're part of our supply chain, and right now our supply chain's in somewhat of a crisis, which in some ways should benefit the railroads, but they can't keep employees, because the employees just aren't being treated well. Part of that is due to stringent regulations that don't let people breathe and actually do the job. And how easy it is to get fired. It's unfortunate. And it wasn't all sunshine and roses back in the day too, but... From what I understand, the further back in time you go, the better the work environment tended to be in most cases. And only a couple of cases where it really wasn't. And obviously working for the railroad isn't for everyone.
I mean, there were a lot of strikes throughout railroad history. It's because the, the top grass just gets greedy every time. Pennsylvania Railroad was, at one point, the most profitable company in the country, if not the world. And then overnight it disappeared, absorbed into the mess known as Penn Central, which later became Conrail, which is today Norfolk Southern. And it's funny, three railroads removed, and it hasn't gotten better. This is a big grade. I might want to really go after it here. But it does it does crest out in the tunnel. Alright, how many track marks do I have left to go? My arrival time is 7.06 a.m. and I'm hoping I make it with these grades. The good news is, is that I'm pretty sure everything west of the tunnel is downhill. So I can just close the throttle and just let her roll. Funny thing is, I don't really have my, that heavy of a train. About six cars. It's not not a big not a big haul. And that's some skipping frames there. I can see the grade plateau is out within the tunnel. So, where this tunnel is two portals, only po the only thing is they took the portal on the left and they widened it. And I think they rerouted most of the track over to that side. And this portal that we're going into no longer exists. These were the hardest parts for a steam locomotive engineer, from what I understood, aside from being a fireman and shoveling coal. It's going in tunnels, all the smoke. I wonder how many guys got black lung. You'll likely encounter a stop signal indication ahead in the Gallitzin area. Ask for permission to proceed and it will be granted. Alright. We'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, it's going to start going down here soon. Close the throttle here. I'm just trying to save as much water as I can.
Now, where is that signal? It's not letting me. I guess I'm clear to go. All right, good. Good stuff. I guess it's this second set of signals. So now all I gotta do is just ride the brakes. Just work the air. This is probably the most challenging part of operating a steam locomotive. From an operational standpoint was downhill grades. I'm a little quiet here, it's because I'm trying to pay attention to really watch my speed. Because it'll be so easy for the train to get away from me. Not exceed 35 miles an hour while your full train passes through the ML crossovers. Okay. Doing okay. I don't know if I have to stop at Crescent or not. But we'll see. We'll see what our instructions are once we cross over here.
All right. So it doesn't look like we need to stop at Crescent. Wow, look at the engine terminal. This is now a helper station, or it was for a while for Conrail and uh, NS. And it looks like it's a uh, served the same function in the PRR days, too. Another K4. Again, real shame there's not more steam locomotives. Alright, so if I was supposed to stop there, I didn't. And I don't think I was. That's not in my instructions. So, there's no way I would make it to Johnstown in time. If I had to stop. And it's only about seven miles from here, so I should be able to make it. Just a little bit of throttle just to get it rolling. Mostly downhill from here. We haven't seen any other steam though, which is unfortunate. road this is. Or actually, I think that's another line, isn't it? No? Not sure. Yeah, the grade is smoothing out finally. probably turn the sand off actually yeah get another inbound train. That is a F unit with a bunch of box cars or three F units with a bunch of box cars. Yeah, it's just weird because most of the scenarios, because they don't have other steam, most of the scenarios use the K4s on freights, and that's just a little weird. It's not that the Pennsylvania Railroad never used them on freights, ever, but it was rare. It was extremely rare. And it wasn't exactly their first choice, because these were, you gotta remember, these were passenger locomotives, primarily. Sure, they could do freight, but... They were built for speed, not necessarily for power. Alright, the grade is steepening up again. It's alright, though. We're still... not even close to the limit.
Oh wow, Johnstown's quite a ways away. Sheesh. All right, well I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here. And then we'll pick up when we're closer to Johnstown because I don't want this thing to go too far over an hour. So, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Alright, we're back folks. We're about two miles from our destination in Johnstown. It's been mostly downhill. This is the first real flat section, so hopefully I can get on the throttle. And there's a 70 mile an hour speed limit, so goody goody. We'll be restricted to 30. Yeah, there were parts where I was restricted to 30. Annoying. So we're already two minutes late. So let's crank it. And then it goes back down to 35. Wonderful. Probably because I'm going to cross over. So, unfortunately, I'm uh, going to have to stay off the throttle. I did really good saving water throughout the trip. Everything's gone pretty smooth. I had to turn the sand back on because I was getting wheel slip going down the grade as I was braking. That was always fun. But beyond that, it's been a very smooth trip and I've been very surprised. Very surprised. I wanted to get some shots of me on the throttle and the train just passing, but there aren't many opportunities when going downhill. Otherwise, I just end up speeding. on just a little bit here just so I don't drop under 30 although once I hit this crossover I am gonna start breaking okay I guess there isn't a crossover that speed limit's just I guess because it's a station zone, I guess. I don't know. Johnstown, coming up Johnstown. Move up just a little. Actually, you know what? That's good. Is 
That is good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That should about do it. Take a quick picture here. Sweet. I don't know why the light's glitching out there. Well, this was a fun run. I, uh, I had a lot more fun with this run than I thought I was going to initially. Even though it was mostly downhill, it was it was very controlled, very very fast, very smooth. Really liked it. Did a good job saving water. Uh, I didn't do the greatest. Got here at about like seven, what seven ten, seven nine. So a couple minutes late, but not terrible. All right, folks, so that's going to do it. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been an Orange Cactus production, and I will see you guys further down the line with more American Railroad-related videos. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.